How do I? Okay, so when I'm starting judging or I'm working with a new judge, I would have them look at something like this, just that lists most all the skills you might see on an event. Um, and it kind of separates them into their element groups. I then think as a new judge, to get good at this, you really need to come up with some sort of shorthand that's gonna work for you. Um, we're beyond the days when you can just write down A, A, C, B, B, A, and remember what element groups were hit along the way. Um, for instance, like we're judging P bars, like front up rise, um, you know, routine starts front up rise, cast kip. I'm gonna write like front up rise, and then I'm gonna write cast, and I'm gonna get a kip here. Wait, I should come up with a different example. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. To <laughs> Let's go to Pommel Horse. Yeah, that's like the every Buffalo Grove routine starts with that. Okay, but for real, like on Pommel Horse, like how are we supposed to remember all this stuff? You have to sit down with a piece of paper like this and be like, a scissor is gonna be an S for me. Like a reverse scissor is RS. Scissor half is SH. Um, it doesn't matter if they have a turn in there. Um, scissor hop, like, well, now I got a scissor hop. Um, okay, maybe I'll make that SH and this is S half, right? You just go back and forth and you have to have some sort of shorthand that you're gonna remember. If you can, and I don't think many people can, but if you can remember the A's, B's, and C's going through, then then do that. I just don't think I would, there's no way I would be close to being able to do that, especially with an event like Pommel Horse. So you need to sit down with a piece of paper like this and develop your own shorthand that will work for you. Now I'm gonna start working on these and notice that like all the skills that aren't highlighted, I have a skills video up here that will show all of those um, already. And then the skills that I couldn't get the gymnast to perform for me, I just added a YouTube link so you can go watch what a two thirds Savato looks like. And then the difference between like a crawl and a Roth. Okay, so develop your own shorthand. And I think that's how you start out judging. Cause I think maybe many new judges can learn the rules but they don't know how to do it. So maybe that can help with the how. Okay, what I'd like to do now is just show you a pommel horse routine and then pretend like we're, we're doing this thrown into the meat as a coach, and then maybe we're doing it a little bit more thoroughly. So, um, Alex, you see? Okay. Okay, so let's all watch this routine, and I'm gonna stop trick by trick, and I'm just gonna show you like what I would be writing down, you know, even though we wouldn't get to pause in, in real life. Here. Okay, so what I saw there was a circle attempt at circle stop. So I'm going to be writing down CC. And again, I'm not even going to write down deductions pretending like you're a new judge. Let's maybe forget deductions. Let's get down what the skills are. Okay. So we got a uh, circle circle. That's my shorthand for this. Okay. That was a single leg circle. For me, that's an SLC. Sorry, I'm, after a year of doing this, I'm still terrible at annotating. Okay, one leg went around. If you weren't sure that was, go watch my video a few more times. That was a false scissor. His leading leg went around 360. When it's your like drag leg or the, the other leg, that'd be a single leg circle. Yeah, Lee. Okay, there's a scissor. There's a scissor hop with a half. Doesn't matter whether that's a hopper with a half though. So I'm just gonna put scissor hop. And that's a single leg Stockley, single leg back Stockley, but just a single leg Stockley works. Single leg Stockley. And that's it, right? So. Again, I think it's really helpful on pommel horse. I can tell you that if you're just writing down the circle that counted, you might be missing lots of deductions on the other circles that they were doing. So I'm gonna remember that this gymnast did the fig circles cause he did, he did two of them in a row kind of. Like the second one definitely had a stop in it but it looked like he attempted to. So he's gonna get an element group two there with those circles. Remember that's only one A. And you could even have that piece of paper out in front of you and say like, oh, there's an A. Single leg circle, that's a non-fig A. I listed that on the bottom of that piece of paper. Did a false scissor for an A, did a scissor for an A, and there is that element group one. 
did a scissor hop for a B and then did a single leg stockly back in. So question one, I'm asking myself, you know, I don't care about start value. I'm, I'm worried about coaches just having to sit and judge. Did the gymnast have six tricks? Remember only one of these circles actually counts for value. So does everyone give me a head nod. Did they have six? Okay. So I'm going to go six for execution. Um, which elements did they have? Did they have a scissoring skill, like a fig? Yep. Did they have a fig circle, which means it was really two circles or a circle attempt? Yep. Um, no travel, right? Did they have a fig dismount? No. Nope. No. Nope. So that's just one in element group. Okay, now everyone, um, A's, a tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. So this gymnast is starting at a 7.8. Okay, now if you have my piece of paper out and you can at least identify these tricks and not write down deductions, we can at least get that start value. From here on, what I would do, if I was just starting and I got thrown into the seat tomorrow and I had never judged a meet, you know, he did, did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tricks. Were those done really well? Were they done almost perfectly? I would say none of them were probably, right? Even if you look back and like, oh, that was a really good false scissor. Well, you know, none of them were, were great. So none of them were a 10th off. Like I think great is a 10th off. Were they done at high exit, like still really good? I don't know. I'd say maybe it's probably like one to two tenths off per skill, right? And don't forget that, that just because he didn't get a credit for that second circle, he still did it. So if I go like, an average of maybe like 2.5 or three tenths off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, if I'm being tough, like, I don't know, maybe my range is minus 2.1 to minus 1.4, right? And you know what? If you're in that range, you and I would be in range because that's what I give him when I judge him. You don't have to be perfect to start this out, I think. And I think too many people focus on like, oh, I have to be perfect to do this. And I think you just need to sit down and do it, but you need a way to start. And maybe this is a good place to start. And then if I was doing this for real, I would be marking tents down here below, but you know, I would, do, let's worry about that later. So I would just be going like circle, circle. That was like a four, that was a three. Single leg was pretty good. One false scissor was um, one. His scissor was three, I thought. The scissor hop was three and a single leg stock it was one. And if like, so three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you know, is that in between the just guessing range? It's like in there, right? So maybe this is how we need to start with judging is just like getting the tricks down and trying to get a start value and then like estimating the deductions till we get proficient at it, you know? Okay. Hope it helped.